has finally happened. After two and a half, almost three years, I have caught the sickness, the plague, the virus, the Rona. Coronavirus. And thus, my isolation period begins. Ignore my red face. I have just washed and put cream on it and it hates me first thing in the morning. Honestly, I'm like, I can't believe I've evaded it for this long. But it's finally happened to me. I got it when I was in Edinburgh. I got it when I was in Edinburgh with my boyfriend at the weekend. And one of the people that we were out with messaged the group chat to say they tested positive on this Sunday. We were out with them on the Saturday night. So I was a bit like, oh God, that feels a little bit close for comfort. I feel like I'm definitely going down with it. So I've been testing myself. I test myself on the, she told us, I think on the Sunday night, I think I test myself on the Monday. I drove home from Edinburgh. I just like drove the whole way, didn't stop. Got home, tested myself. It was negative. Tuesday, I was starting to feel a little bit funny. I was... I sort of like had a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a like a fuzzy head and I just wasn't quite feeling the bad. My sinuses felt a bit blocked but apart from that like I test myself again. test myself on the Tuesday morning and it was still negative. Then on the Wednesday I was due to be at work so I tested myself on the Wednesday morning with- is that true? No, I think I tested myself on the, the Tuesday night actually because I was still feeling quite shitty. And so I took another test and um, it was it was still negative. So I was like, okay. So I thought I'm going to take one in the morning. I took a, because I was taking like 15 minute lateral flows. And so this time I was like, okay, I, we had half hour tests as well. Like, you know, like the lateral flows, you just do up the nose. This other one, it was like the throat and the nose. So, and they were like half hour for results. So I did one of them. It was just like, uh, I think I looked at it and I was like, oh, it's negative. I still don't feel good so I messaged my boss and my manager and I was like I, I explained the situation just said like I've been in contact with someone I'm not feeling 100% but my tests are negative like what should I do and my boss was like oh just like take today off and test yourself in the morning see how you feel anyway so I carried on my day I didn't really move off the couch I was kind of napping and stuff and then <laughs> that night because normally I, I had planned I was gonna get up early take another test on the Thursday morning to see if I could go to work and if I felt okay I was just gonna go. As I was going to get ready for bed I went into the bathroom and I'd left my test from the morning just kind of sitting out and it caught my eye and I saw a very faint second line so I panicked I was like oh my god did I not like check it again after like the half hour when I was supposed to did I just sort of see think it'd settle down and like settled on like negative and it was like so I was just like oh it's negative and then left it so I was kind of like oh my god did I not check it properly because I could see the second light and then like I messaged my boyfriend and he was like oh like don't worry you know tasks can kind of go a bit funny after they've been sitting out and you know it had been sitting out all day so I was like fair enough um but I was still panicking and no one else could see this second red line. Like I show my parents, they've got shitty eyesight. But I was like, I can see it. I can see it. So he, my boyfriend was like, just don't bother. Like, just take a, another test. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna. So I just took like a quick lateral flow test. I'm like, within like five minutes, I could just like, I can see the line. And it was, it was so bold. It was, it was a, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have the sickness. So, oh my goodness, look at the mask work. I've been walking around the house with a mask on. So now i'm like isolating so i figured i'm gonna be existing in my room for the next seven ten days i don't really i'm gonna have to read up on all the rules and stuff so while i'm existing in my room i thought this is a good chance to get things done you know like i could read some books i could uh just i don't know do some writing do some blind, just have a little bit of that was my stomach. Have a bit of fun. Just it's a very small room though, so I'm very limited. <laughs> but I figured I could get I could get stuff done and yeah, I thought I might bring you along with me on a little like video diary. 
isolation divers. <laughs> and we can just hang out while I slowly go insane. <sighs> so sad. So sad. I have a nice breakfast of tea cakes and a cup of tea with a side of birth control and positive results. So yeah, so this was the one I'd taken. And like, yeah, you, I feel like you, even on camera, you can't really see it. But like, in person, I could see this very, very, very faint line. But then this one is just like, oh yeah, baby, you're expecting. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna like, hold on to these for now, for no real purpose whatsoever. My original plan was to get up, like get dressed and like just sit about in my room. But I ended up just laying back down in bed in my PJs watching the Kardashians all morning. So nice. But I just had a video chat with my boyfriend. Just see how he is. He's feeling fine, testing negative. So the lucky bugger is allowed to fuck around and go wherever he wants. So I am just... I'm just in hibernation. My mum brought some lunch up to me, left it at my door. And I'm just lying here, wishing I could go out into the world. Oh, my phone's about to fall. I have been watching Kardashians all day. It is five o'clock. I lit a candle. And now I'm like just manically tidying my room because I have stuff everywhere, everywhere. Also, my dad brought a chair up for me because I don't have a chair in my room. <laughs> so I can, I can sit on it, do some reading, watch Kardashians from it. I'm like unpacking from my trip to Edinburgh and I'm just like moving stuff around in my room because it's been a mess for a while. I really need like, um, I need a bare unit, I think. I need some sort of, like, maybe, like, a vanity unit or, like, just some sort of desk, I think, to go in, like, this corner here. Because I've got so much, like, like, jewellery and makeup and, like, I feel like it just, it clutters up the space here. If I had a better place to put it, then, I don't know, it'd just be better. But, yeah, so I'm just, like, <laughs> going around cleaning. I suppose there are worse things to do. <laughs> Day two in isolation. <laughs> it is raining. So I did some rearranging on my room last night. Um, mostly just like these shelves. I got I finally found a place to put my little heart that my boyfriend brought me back from France. Um, I was burning this candle last night. It smells so good. Also, I got a car today. <laughs> From like a very slow card from my boyfriend, so that made my morning. Um, so I sort of rearranged this stuff. I mean, I could do with sort of. I mean, these were Christmas decorations from my my tree that I didn't get a chance to put away. I've got so much stuff. It's quite a lot of clutter. I'm thinking I should try and find like move some stuff about. I don't know. I don't know. The bears or bear farms just chilling. I'm just trying to decide what to do today. Maybe today I'll dedicate to reading. I don't really know. I don't have much plans. I did do a test last night and it was like not as, I mean, I kind of worried that I didn't really do it properly. I think I can do it in a rush. It's very, like the line's still there, but it's it's quite faint compared to like the one from the day before so i don't know i don't really know if that like means anything or if i just didn't do it ow if i didn't do it properly i don't know but i'll be doing another one tonight anyway who knows Woo. today's friday isn't it i should have been back to work tonight well i should have been back to work on wednesday to do like some cleaning before the place opened it's the green building up there. But today is Friday and um, it opens officially to the public at like 
it's five o'clock tonight, so I should have been there and I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> I mean, I can't help. I mean, I feel really bad because I ended up giving COVID to one of my friends. So like ruined a lot of her plans, which I feel really bad about, but honestly, like so far my parents have been okay. They've been testing every day. But also, um, it's kinda nice not to go to work. The extra time off. Shh, don't tell my boss. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> Just me and my friends. <laughs> me and my friends. <laughs> so I'm currently reading. This is not a bad angle. This is a terrible angle. I'm currently reading. 13 reasons why. I got this in a charity shop for 150 and I've obviously I've read I've watched the TV show. And I think I only got like halfway into the second series. I didn't finish it, I know that. So I obviously sort of know, but so far I've already seen some differences, so I'm about this much through it. <laughs> There's pictures in the middle from like the um the show. So I'm about halfway through. So maybe I can get it done today. My mom brought me tea, marshmallow, and chocolate. And I have about like less than 30 pages to go because I did look ahead. I know I shouldn't do it because I end up seeing spoilers when I do that, but I couldn't help myself. I looked ahead and there's like a lot of like the like Q&A with the author and stuff like that. So there is literally like less than 30 pages to go. So I'm doing good. I just finished 30 reasons why. It was actually, okay, it was actually pretty good. I think it was slightly better than the TV show. I think maybe the TV show went a bit more dramatic with some other scenes, a bit more graphic. I don't know why they had, when, like Hannah, I don't wanna spoil it, but when Hannah unalived herself, I wonder why they went down because if you've seen the show I don't know if the scene's still in it I'm sure I read somewhere that like they took it out um I can't remember if it's still in it or not but like the scene was so graphic like I'm not good with gore like anytime you know like anytime someone like like if they slice open their hand if they like slit a throat any kind of like skin cutting it's just it's a no-no for me. It's a big no-no. And obviously, like, that scene in the TV show when she unalives herself was very graphic. Um, in the book, sounds like she just took painkillers. Or not painkillers, but, well, yeah, like, painkillers, but, like, not, no, not painkillers, pills. She just took, like, pills and overdosed. We don't really know much more other than that, but, like, did they try to be dramatic? Like, mm. <laughs> um, I do think potentially, I know people have said that like the book is a bit harmful maybe to younger readers, that it's like maybe gives them the wrong idea and kind of glamorize, glamorizes suicide a wee bit. But I don't know, I feel like it's very thoughtful in the sense that like actions have consequences and you know, you just don't know what people are dealing with in their life and how your actions can effect in like a snowball effect. I don't know what I would rate it actually because it was, I feel like it was well written. Um, I find a lot of the time I was picturing the characters from the show in my head even though it's been a while since I've seen it and I felt like maybe they were better, they were written better, like in the show I felt like they were a bit more like just your typical like Netflix teens like I don't know, like they just seemed like normal kids in this book, if that makes sense, or like normal teens, I know they partied and stuff like that, whereas like in the show, like half of them were all rich and 
like different things and obviously they changed a lot for certain characters which is like fair enough but like some of them I feel like they they definitely hammed it up a bit I can't believe they made like three series like I feel like this as a standalone series would have been perfect also I'm pretty sure that in the show when Clay is like reacting to the tapes I'm sure he doesn't listen to them all in one night it's like he starts and then he stops because he can't continue and that used to drive me a bit insane whereas with this like he listens to it all in one night and I really like that and I think the show could have done that I think they could have had it all one night and then each episode was what happened in each tape you know that would have been that would have been fine because I mean they can easily like draw it out and you know add things to make each like tape last a bit like to justify it being like a whole episode but obviously you know like kind of cut back to clay and all that kind of stuff so I don't know well, they, they definitely changed a lot from what I can remember part of me is kind of tempted to rewatch it now but I don't know because it was kind of I don't know they changed a lot now that I've read it I think I definitely enjoy this a lot more and it's actually it's actually pretty good I did quite enjoy it I give it five stars though maybe maybe I don't know I have <laughs> these look like sweets they're wax melts I always think they look like sweets when I see them like that like little pieces of like white chocolate isn't this cute? My auntie got it for me for Christmas. I'm trying to decide what I want to read. I don't know if you can see properly, but I have like, I got this like last Christmas, two Christmases ago. Then I've got the Knots and Crosses series, The Women in White. These are my kind of my classic novel. Oh, well. And then the Testaments, Funny Fairs, which some of these were like, I bought at um, the, I got like this, this, this dish 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 and dish all at the the works these were books i bought um i mean you can really see them that well in the dark um got this my boyfriend um got that for christmas this year got that for christmas this year got this and these three and 13 reasons why from a charity shop so i'm undecided i kind of want something a bit hmm Something a bit exciting. I might read the backs of some of these and then pick what I wanna what I wanna go for. So I don't know about you, but I absolutely love it when a book starts on page one. Cause like oh the light is getting bad here. Cause like you know the page you open it and it's like page eight or something. And then it's like when you're then counting how many I mean it's maybe only me that cares about this, but when I'm then counting how many pages I've read, because I wanna know how many pages I've read, I'm like, oh I've read two hundred and fifty and then it's like wait, no I didn't because this run we started on page fifteen for whatever reason. Like I just I don't understand it. Why does that why is that a thing? A book should start on page one, right? Maybe I'm just insane. <laughs> Either way, I'm starting my book now. After spending at least an hour, maybe just half an hour on TikTok. See?